You have people listening from every corner of this planet. No knowledge has been dispersed so beautifully, so balanced across the planet, on this planet ever. Maybe in the universe. You have the full potential of achieving everything in the universe. There is no need and there is no reason for my not to achieve. So, wherever you are, the way I taught you to make the coils, double coil inside, you have continuous equal gravitational magnetic field, and if you put CO2 on it, and you put zinc on it, you have connected the emotion of the man to it on a stable condition, and you'll find out you become a very peaceful man. Here, instead of having galaxies and universes and creating connection magnetically, we have used the matter state, gravitational magnetic field strength to dominate and dictate the shape of the plasma. The nano technology, the nano material which you have collectively developed in different ways by caustic, by electric currents, by whatever, fire or whatever, has that advantage that the matter, the nano and the plasma is of all the same. So connection is very solid. It's very strong. The power of the plasma technology, the way we have thought, is beyond imagination of the mind. Now you can create and control the plasma, which is the mother of the creation of the universe. You are given the seed of the essence of the creation. The foundation does not belong to no one and is not made of one anymore. You are developing it. You are structuring it. And from today, we will be still the same. We'll still develop the technology in different names, in different colors, in different nationalities, which they do not exist. It is beautiful when we see the Christian, the Muslims, the Jews, and every other belief are working together to build up systems. We have already become one faith. We already have become one nation, and we already have become one planet. You got to remember one thing. Dates is irrelevant. Today is the last day of the Christian calendar, or tomorrow is the beginning of another. One day is connected to another. We don't stop. We are working around the clock. The Keshe Foundation team is working in respect to our time, position, religion, country. And now we achieve what we set out for. Would you like to be one of the first humans in space using plasma technology? The Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute is now taking applications for the Man Originated Zone Habitation and Nutrition Training Program, or Mojan. The goal of Mojan is to teach trainees how to create and utilize the magnetically oriented joint habitation and nutrition system 
that will be used for life in space. Be one of the first humans in space using plasma technology. The three-month Mojang training program begins in the fall of 2016. Apply today at mojang.kfssi.org. Trainees will be taught every aspect of plasma technology needed for them to go to space and survive, and will be educated in space ethos. Participants are expected to bring the knowledge forward to the peoples of their nations to prepare them to become peoples of space. Matter Propulsion Technology To date on Earth, we use inefficient and costly rocket propulsion technology, which burns fuels to overcome the magnetic gravitational fields of the planet to go to space. We power our rockets, our cars, and our homes by burning matter to release the energy that we convert from one form to another in order to create motion and usable energy. As well, to achieve objectives, rockets, for example, have to carry large and heavy payloads of fuel, which means that they're payload dependent. Matter propulsion technology is very destructive, inefficient, polluting, and wasteful. Now, let's look at the new alternative, plasma technology. Plasma technology uses the properties of the entirety of plasma to create motion, lift and energy without destroying the characteristics of matter. The system utilizes magnetic and gravitational field interaction to attain positioning and motion. Nothing is burned, there's no waste and no pollution is created. Plasma technology is efficient and not destructive. Current human scientific achievement is the result of a progressive evolution in science and technology over thousands of years. Plasma technology is the next step in that evolution. It's viable and it's here today. You could be one of the first humans in space using plasma technology. Apply today to the Mojan training program. The Universal Council invites you to attend the One Planet, One Nation, One Race event in Rome on the 9th and 10th of September 2016. The Council looks forward to open interaction with the public at the event. Come interact with the Council in your spoken language. The Council encourages you to bring your positive suggestions and solutions to the table on how humanity can move forward as a whole towards everlasting peace. In this way, the work of the members of the Council will become the work of humanity for humanity. The full package price for a single ticket to the event includes three nights stay in one of Rome's prestigious hotels, daily attendance to the event, as well as breakfast on the 9th through the 11th, and lunch and tea on the 9th and 10th. Accommodations for this package is based on double occupancy. The full package price for two tickets to the event includes three nights stay in a twin bed room in one of Rome's prestigious hotels, daily attendance to the event, as well as breakfast on the 9th through the 11th, and lunch and tea on the 9th and 10th. Additional night stay are offered at 150 euro per person per night. For those who wish to arrange their own accommodations and who plan on attending a single day of the event, the cost will be 200 euro which includes tea and lunch on the day of the event. For those who wish to arrange their own accommodations and who plan on attending both days of the event, the cost will be 400 euro, which includes tea and lunch on the day of the event. The One Planet, One Nation, One Race event in Rome. Come share your positive solutions on how we can work together to bring everlasting peace to our world. Welcome everyone to the 19th International Knowledge Seekers Workshop of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute for June 14th, 2016. And once again, uh, welcoming everyone from 
around the planet, if not around the universe, to our teaching today with Mr. Kesh. Um, this happens to be the, um, the date of the six-year anniversary of Mr. Kesh's uh, unfortunate incarceration in Canada, as was pointed out earlier today. I thought I should bring that up because maybe one day that will get rectified. In any case, let's uh, carry on into the workshop here. I think Mr. Kesh has lots to present for today. And we have possibly a universal self-generating mag grab. I'm not sure if that will be presented today or Thursday. Okay, uh, Mr. Kesh, are you available there? Oh, just a minute. I think I have to uh, unmute you. Um, Hello. There, there we go. Now we can hear you. Okay. Thank you very much. Good day, good morning, good evening, as usual, whenever and wherever you listen to this teaching. As uh, Rick said, it's rather unfortunate. Today falls in two or three occasions, anniversaries. It's exactly eight years ago. This time I was in Iran developing the Iranian Space Technology Spaceship Program. And same time, two years later, in 2000 and more or less 10, same time, when I was in taking captured by the Canadians on flight between uh, Belgium and Mexico. It is gone, it's bypassed, but the people who are in it are trying to get into power in America to become president, and that's what we said, we'll leave it aside till the time will tell. The most important thing, which is part of the work of the foundation is, that as we did, we started the program in teaching about the MAGRAP systems, MAGRAP technology. We have collectively, as we said, we bring this technology to a point that we can all be benefited by it. If you are the Cash Foundation uh, supporters who bought the MAGRAP units and you put the one kilowatt or 400 kilowatts system and you brought your system into the position of working and we reported that you could do with a 15 watt amp system um, now we have come to a new development this is important we have to inform and we carry on informing you to see what we see and what we have followed and we come to understanding the magraph system if you bought from the cash foundation you do the same as if you build your own MAGRAF system. We are testing in the next seven, 10 days. We'll get more results, more answers, more conditions, and we explain to you accordingly. What we see and what has been developed, Cash Foundations, people who bought the systems should be receiving or have received an email to change your load side of the system to a refrigerator, which means you don't need to run any additional um, load in the house just to keep your MAGRAF system going. From now on, when you receive the MAGRAF system, for those getting delivered or you're building a new one or whatever you do using the MAGRAF system, use a refrigeration system, fridge, freezer, as the load to your MAGRAF. This seems to be creating and is creating a condition which means you don't need to add or use any additional load. So it's part of the system which you use already. You add your MAGRAF system into it. And what you will see is a reduction in your power consumption as before much faster. But what we have seen which is important and we, we do not confirm, but because the um, information has come out somehow, somewhere in different places, we're just putting it to you this way. Hey, we Mr. Mr. Cash, uh, we don't have video. What do you mean the video? Your camera. Uh, Fabio, the camera is not on? No, he's not there. Um, so what we're trying to explain is that um, the... 
system. Ah, is there? Okay, he's done. Fabio is not here. He's somewhere else. Can you see it now? Uh, yes, as soon as... There we go. Okay, no problem. So what we see is that uh, um, by connecting the compressor system, like a fridge freezer to the magraph system, as the refrigeration system comes on on a sequences of on and off, and at the same time, very small amount of DC electric current is running through the system like the thermostat or whatever in the fridge freezer or electronic devices which run the system. The system converts itself to a generator, which means the magraph system becomes a generator system. We're trying to see if this phenomena is correct, because some people have achieved it, but we have to do the test because the information out in public, we want it to be correct, that is done correctly. So what it does, we showed you a video last week with the fridge in Rome, but we have a number of these videos for past six, eight months, which they all connected to a refrigerator. And it seems the, the pulsation of the 60 hertz or 50 hertz in conjunction with the DC power, which is used for light or running the electronics, creates the right mixture to trigger the plasma into operation to become a generator. We are testing. The component is, seems to be correct. We will confirm this in the coming weeks, but it's safe to use the refrigeration as a system for the load. So you don't need to add light or anything additional, which you don't need, and create extra costs. We have email to thousands of people who bought the unit. This is what you have to do it. But if you build your units yourself, you will find out that when you connect your load, you put a multiple load, and we're trying to test to see how many kilowatts you can go. If you can go four or six kilowatts after the load. What this means is that you have your power unit, you've connected to the grid, you have your load connected to the fridge, and then you have other sockets. What we're testing to see what is the kilowatt capacity of this, which means you can connect the system at a point of grid and connect the wiring of the house connected to a freezer, fridge freezer in the house and run the system as a load system direct. If you are correct, this is what we are looking for. How many kilowatts, how much kilowatts, without creating any problem in the circuitry. And what we have seen, after about three to six months or so, the system converts itself to a generator by releasing that plasma in a sequence which is needed to running the house. So if we are correct, and what data we received up to now confirms with the test which we are running ourselves in the background confirms is that by using a compressor system like a fridge freezer with a small DC current running which covers both DC and AC operation, then the magrav units become generators after the magrav system. There are two points which we would like you to test, or we're testing, we let you know, we we'll see, is that to what point the Magrav unit will become independent of the grid. We've seen this in two or three occasions. We're trying to understand it further, but what we see when we disconnect the grid the system becomes a generator on its own. 
the point in separating the grid is that the MAGRAV unit still has to be connected to a ground, which has a comparison between the plasma and the matter state, which induces a frequency of 250 hertz or 60 hertz, depending on the environment you are, in 110 or 220. So what it needs, if it kicks into generator, it needs a comparison point from matter state, which is earth, to the plasma state, which creates the frequency which is needed, the hertz you need for your electrical system, or a DC run constant without a change in the DC into AC to DC. We know the systems are multi-use, but now for the first time, after running it for six months, we see the systems become generators, and in a way, you don't need a power supply. We will test with the signal generators to see if it can be done, if it's a signal generator, but what we think is a ground, earth condition comparison, which is the correct way, we've seen this before. So what we advise you is, if you've been using extra load just to run your MAGRAF system to get the uh, reduction in your electricity bill, take the light out, connect your fridge freezer to it, and leave it to be, the reduction shows to be much more than the using LED lights or anything else. So the process is developing to a point that you have both AC and a DC, and then you have a generator which will confirm in coming time. This is the beauty of open source technology. We are developing it together, and we see the benefit is that we share it. So, please, from today, we draw the lights. You don't need to run the extra electricity to get the benefit of that. Connect to a multi-plug use to a fridge or a single use directly to the unit. But what will be interested is how much more units you can supply from this plug, two to three kilowatt, whatever it is. Please do not burn your system because that's your responsibility, not ours. But just connect it to fridge freezer, we give you. But if you created the unit at home, you can test it to see how much. At the moment, we see we can run about 400 watts, 600 watts without the pressure on the system. We have seen just before I come, that's why I was a little bit late, our innovation system, um, people testing in putting a MAGRAF system in cascading with a fridge with another coil. We create a plasma that even the light in the room came out, which is all switched off, but it's a plasma light. So we were trying to see further if we add a second MAGRAV unit in a cascade with a compressor, we create a plasmatic field in the environment that anything we choose as a plasma can be used. We just seen this in the past hour or two. So as I said, what we learn comes on the table immediately. Those of you who are developing it, we talked about cascading before, now cascading with a, a compressor or a fridge freezer. If it creates without any shortage, anything else that the system become MAGRAF system. And in a way, if you look at it, what we see at the moment is very much, is like a, your space reactor to unlocking to create fields and what about if you put three in the house or four MAGRAF systems or a new combination, which I can think it can be done, then we can cover the whole house for whatever you use, you use as much as you need without any wiring. This is the, if you are correct, if the knowledge transfer is correct, we are getting near to wireless power supply without any source. Maybe we are days away, weeks away from it, but what we see is correct. A compressor, fridge freezer, replace it with a load. You see faster slowing down in your system. If it is, it will do. And then let us do extension of the test. And day by day, as we test, as the result comes, we share with you. So 
please, if you've been using the MagGraph system with the lights or another additional lights, just to keep the MagGraph units going as you were advised before, there is a new development, new understanding. And as I said, we're sharing knowledge so openly, we share to you, with you as soon as the results is there, but it seems to be correct. It is, we've seen this since last September, but now we can confirm it. It's nearly six, eight months more been done. We saw it, we couldn't see the totality now, we see it. And please save yourself a lot of electricity in using your fridge as a load. The important position with creating plasma is in understanding that the plasma will bring conditions and situations where every component of the plasma can be used. In the teaching of this morning, in a couple of questions and discussions, it came very, very apparent that a lot of people have not understood the work of the plasma, even the students as knowledge seekers. When you have a plasma, you have a field which has both gravitational and magnetical. And what is interesting to understand is that each field strength has behavior of given material. But the order of magnitude counts, which let's say if this is hydrogen, this is plutonium. If you go to plutonium and you go up, if you go to other materials, go maybe gold is here. You see the gap is much smaller because it's order of magnitude. If you look at it from matter state, we open it up. If you go by a strength, here is your hydrogen. Here is your gold. Here is your plutonium. Because it's both gravitational and magnetical field strength. Then when you come to the point, each strength according to it, is matter state solid, a liquid or a gas, depending on the environment in interaction. So when you are in the plasma, according to the environment which you come, you manifest yourself into what it is, depending on the condition of the interaction of the magnetic gravitational field of the environment with the gravitational magnetic field of the element. Then if the field drop is higher, you are in a free state of plasma movement, what we call like a gas. If you are in a harder condition, you come in a condition of liquid and gas. So, now this is important because we are entering into the space technology with the gas plasma technology. And this brings a new understanding. This brings a new way to work. And it's very hard for those who are matter states minded than the new plasma minded. The difference is huge. This is like playing, I was explaining, um, playing between the math, mathematics and algebra. In, in a two by two gives you four, is that much of a difference, if you understand, if I can explain it this way, where two by 20 gives you 40, and where 20 to the power of two gives you 400. This is this, this is this. If you are 
mathematic minded, this is good. But if you're not algebra minded, you say, how come the two is still there? We see this associated with the young people when they start seeing the difference between algebra. And what they do, the minute they see this, they go two by 20 is 40. Where actually is 20 by 20. And this is what I see a lot of you making mistake or not understanding the capability and the position of the plasma. Where in this position, where you have 20 to the power of a two is one is magnetical, one is gravitational. Where with a common man, you always use twice the power of magnetical field. This is the difference. This is where you will understand this comes into play. And if the faster we get this sorted in understanding, the faster we can go into the state of understanding how to manipulate plasma. In how we can extend to the knowledge of the plasma, in how it can be used for different preparation of different status of use. We are heading towards lift and motion. We are heading towards condition that you can create lift and motion in respect to anywhere in any structure in the universe. Here, if this was two to the power of one, this is two to the power of 10. This is two to the power of 100. This is a two to the power of 1,000. This is two to the power of billions and billions. But because you understand the structure, you know how to handle it. Because this part has a collaborator, which is magnetical, and gravitational. This is the problem which we have to understand to be able to enter into the space technology with a full understanding of how we can manipulate one to the other and how we can go from one thing to another. This is what I was explaining in the teaching this morning. And as I said, we don't develop, we don't show you new technologies. We show you the application and the implication and the use and understanding of the science of plasma. I keep on repeating this this week and next week and we carry on going till slowly, slowly, by repetition, a lot of you clicks on in different way of use. We started with matter. We created nanomaterials. In creating nanomaterials, we created the GANS, and from the GANS into the liquid of the GANS, or liquid plasma, we start creating fields of plasma. Step further into the knowledge. Now, what you can do, you can bring matters, different matters together. If this one's copper, this one is zinc. Now, you create a nanomaterial of the zinc. You created the gans of the zinc, then, you became again to one thing, liquid plasma of the zinc. Then you started mixing the two to get field plasma. Now you mix the waters together, you get a field plasma of both, if we call A and B, in your new mixture. 
But if you add and make a separate, let's call it a C, let's say it's whatever, you make a nanomaterial of it, you make a gans of it, you made the same liquid plasma of it, and then it has its field plasma. Now you bring in with this, you made one unit. You bring with this one, with the, again, you create nano, you create a GANS, you created your plasma, liquid plasma, you have your field plasma. Now you mix this together, where you mix that together. Now you have a field plasma of C and D. You use this in one of your coils and you use that in another coil, but then you mix the two to become your gravitational field plasma. So you're still working with the fields, but you create a new field without the plasma. This becomes the center of your gravitational system for any flight anywhere on a given condition. Here, for example, you bring in the amino acid. Here, you bring the food of what you need to have. So when you make the Gans plasma, this creates the condition of gravitational magnetic field of everything the man needs in a field directly from his structure. And this is how you travel in a space. This is what you call in your common language, the DNA. And this is what you call your RNA. If you master understand the field of strength, and you understood very much this, where we started from. Sorry. Fabio, this thing is not giving direction. OK, sorry. We come here. If you understood this, then you'll be able to create the condition on the flight system, on the whole structure with a food, with guarantee of life, a standard to the amino acid body of the man, which means in space, you will not convert anything which is below the, the or in a, in a position to change the structure of the life of the man in his intelligence and in his soul. This is important. This is part of the space technology. You have to, and you experiment, and you'll bring on the table. But we guide you as usual. We show you the way. But on the other hand, if you extend the knowledge, then you can understand, as we explained, in today's teaching, furthermore, what you need is the condition of how you can make the existence of the matter state the way you want it and where you want it. If you want to create matter, you need a higher plasmatic field to interact with a lower magnetic field. Then in that interaction, you create a motion in a weaker because the energy of the conversion of the strength will become the motion for the 
reach a field and the field starts rotating. And that's how you create motion in your reactors or you decide this is where I want the reactor. But interaction of the higher field with a lower field or a matter state field of strength, for example, you create the rotation of the plasma of the weaker. And this is how you start your motors or your reactors or your cores without any fuel. In so many ways, in space, the only choice you have is playing with the field. As I said, some of you this morning in the teaching, and I explain again, some of you will go into matter state because you're happy with the aircraft to be on. Some of you develop the knowledge where you're happy to travel with the fields, the way the body of the man is without the matter state working through the gas. And some of you in time, when you develop your knowledge, you would like to be part of the structure where you can create motion at the field of the strength of the motion of the man or at the field strength of the soul of the man. All depends in how you mature in the science of the creation. It's a room for everyone and nobody is wrong. Man has chosen the plasma field technology or matter field technology as we have seen it for past centuries, burning fuel, using a donkey, flying uh, with a jetliner, or flying with a propulsion, or as we've seen in different shape of forms. In so many ways, now it's for you to understand where you want to go. Now that you have the full arsenal of understanding how to make a GANS, how to make a plasma, how to make a liquid plasma, how to play with the fields, and how now extend the knowledge of fields into combination of fields and separate combination of the fields. In fact, if you look at it in a deeper way, but you might understand in so many ways, in one plasma, you carry everything you need. In one plasma, you can go that's your A, that's your B, that's your C, and that's your D. And when you have this plasma, this field of plasma in your space or in the core, you have access and you hold access to all four at the same time. It's you who decides where you need to be. In a way, nowadays, if you have a hybrid car, you put a gas tank in the back of the car and a fuel tank underneath of it. In a plasma, everything is on the same fuel tank. And this is be very hard for a lot of people to understand because it's against the grain of understanding of matter state. And this is where the separation in the science of the space and the spaceship comes. In the matter state, you work with a payload limited to what you can. In the plasma state, there is no payload. Is the field the strength without limit on speed. You want to work with a donkey because you feel good with it. There's nothing wrong with it. You still can get from A to B. You want to work with a plasma, with nanomaterial, with a gas material, with a liquid plasma, or the field plasma combination, you still get to destination. Is the speed of what? Certain environment does not allow use of certain tools and systems. You cannot cross the galaxies with a donkey, but you can cross a country and cities with the plasma technology. Those who oppose the new knowledge, as I said, because they are stuck and they're happy with the state of donkey, so everything else is wrong with anybody else. 
<coughs> if you understand the un total understanding of the use of a plasma, then you will understand how you can reach much easier, much safer, whatever you need. Start playing with plasma fields. Start playing with combination of plasma fields to bring you the confidence in what you do is correct. In so many ways, start bringing these together in different ways. Working together, opposite together, different speed created through the motion of the fields of the plasma, and then you will see what you can create. Light, heat, new materials, new conditions, new health units. Everything from now on is dependent on you. Remember what we explained, the position, the angle, how the fields interact, how many fields you allow to interact. How do you allow fields at what strength to react at what speed? In what position you allow the interaction to take place at what speed, at what angle? Everything from now on, it depends on your curiosity and on your sense of adventure to find out how and where and what is the outcome of new understanding. And I tell you one thing, for sure man will be busy for billions of years because every single star we've seen, every single planet we've seen is created out of one of these variations and is trillions of them. They cannot be, it's impossible if you understand the work of the plasma technology to find another planet like Earth anywhere in this universe. It's impossibility, absolute impossibility. And on top of it, to find human race the way you find on this planet, fish and donkey and a cat. Because the structure of the plasma in a given condition, in a given position, at given the strength, in a pointed, pointed time in the universe, brought the fields together that it gives such a condition. And it's impossible to create a replication. Absolutely impossible if you understand the combination and the position and the strength and the interaction and the angles and everything else which has led to the creation of a specific planet like Earth. We have something near to it. There could be a condition. You might see a tree somewhere. So it's like a tree we have on, a, on the Earth. You might see rivers of H2O, but behaving totally different, but no life. As it's impossible to create another you when you are 40, exactly the same age, if they still clone you, you're still your clone is 40 years younger than you. So, if you understand this, then you understand all of you can play with every aspect of the technology and play with the plasma and create a new condition to create new materials. Creating new materials will be the backbone of this technology for those who are very physical and they want to show something. Some of you will come up with a new plasma technology. I think in about six weeks, 10 weeks, when you feel more confident with the plasma, you will come and you walk away from nanotechnology as a lot of you did with the GANS and the rest. Is feeling of the comfort in using the technology. And this is where we're trying to push because there is no more system to teach you. It's the application and understanding the implication of what you apply, what will bring you. Our Chinese friends are working in developing OASIS system which turns itself inevitably to a flight system. There is no choice. 
on the other hand, the development is how far we can extend the knowledge that it can bring benefit to mankind. Can we push the plasma of different strength? You remember we spoke about how you cut the plasma, how you separate the plasma, how you create a condition that the plasmas can keep a certain distance from each other, or what you call magra positioning. You have to go over all this, and if you understood all of it, should be not much problem for a lot of you to create the spaceship as you want it. According to your emotion, according to your strength of your emotion, and according to the desire that if you want to leave the planet, do we escape or do we walk out? Do we walk out or do we run out? Or do we get forced to escape to run? It seems the mankind has chosen the last part, which is, is going to be forced and then he will run. But that time, you don't have any choice. You've got to accept what's in front of you and what you come across. When you plan the path, you dictate everything. When you escape and you run, you have no choice. And this is the teaching is about. We're trying to open a door of the man choosing the path that being forced out then is not under your control and your condition. Because the minute you're freed, you change your habit back to what it was. And the whole structure is to understand from the beginning, the habit has been wrong. Any questions? No question. Mr. Kesh? Hello, Mr. Kesh. Yes, that's Vivek. Am I correct? Yes, sir. How are you? Not too bad, Vivek. Carry on. Okay. Uh, we have been receiving a few questions in uh, tech support asking, is there any, what is the difference in the internal construction of the current generation MAGREFs units, which allows the units to, you know, go straight away into operation without the conditioning period? There is not much. There is not much. It's only um, the more understanding of the system. We, this is the beauty, as I said, with the open source development collectively. You go on a computer, you find a program, you add something to it, everybody else uses it, and they come back and found another way to do it, or they correct it. This is what we started. We started on a very cautious level because at that time, what we could see, what was, and we wanted the knowledge to be very fast out. You got to understand, if we would not have released the MAGRA units with the way we did last year, there were elements within the structure that would have literally hidden the technology. Technology, I developed it years ago, and then we came to the next step, and then it was amongst two or three people. But you have to understand, our lines are continuously listened to, are monitored by, by people who are not in the favor of free human race. We had two choices, to go out very rapidly and commercialize it, that people know is out, and they do it themselves the way we did the blueprint. And when you do this, it's very easy to go out and say, do this and do that all go very cautiously the way we did. We collectively, cautiously followed. We went step by step. The structure, there are few changes internally, very few changes. We know it's a connection-wise, there is a capacitor-wise connection, there is a internal GANS material, which we use is a slightly different. Um, otherwise, in essential, it's, it's the same entity. It has not changed. But uh, now, with the development, more time, now, today, we, we explained the use of refrigeration. A lot of people were using one kilowatt load for 30 days and a lot of costs, but that was part of we came in, together we developed it. 
and now we got to the point that is safe. We are we are creating a parameter of safety for the application and the use. And now there is the, now we are at this point. We are looking at a new type of uh, energy supplies. Now we what we see here, and what we've seen in past three four hours in the test, and we've seen from other places in past oh three months, a new structure of systems will come in in the power energy and in other things. But in essence, it's, it's the same coils. <clears throat> it's the connections which is changed, is the capacitor changed to make it more safer, more powerful, uh, and um, the GANS material production, which gives a more powerful GANS has been used. Could you give an example of uh, how the capacitor itself has been changed, Mr. Cash? Because this is a big area where a lot of people have had problems, myself included. What do you mean? If you buy our unit, there is no problem with capacitors. No, no. This is for those people who are building their own. Ah, so go back to the way the way is done in the factory. We exactly the way you do it. We use a nano-coated center wire. We use the standard fireproof paper, which has to be by law. We coat it with the guns of what we produce to the level we need. And we add the second, the coil on top of the center pin. And that's as simple as that. The coil is not coated the same, and we lock it into a bracket. The original, if you open the original um, cores, they were, they, the coils were next to each other. The new system has a housing for the coils. Two sets of coils are housed in the bracket, kept. And then uh, the connection has changed where it used to be a twisted connection from the power point. Now it goes into a switch box, a screw box, what you call a sugar. But that's, that's a simple way of making a capacitor. The only thing is we, we dilute the GANS to a very, very, very high level. It's more like a water plasma GANS than actually GANS, but it's still in there. And uh, you have to let it dry, totally dry. Some of the GANS coils made in the factory made nearly a month, two months earlier to make sure that they are nano-coated and they are dry. We add, as I said before, in our caustic, in our GANSes, very, very small amount of caustic and we add a very, very small amount of sugar. Sugar is for CH pound, which increases energy for production. And the caustic is, uh, as the capacitors always are in the moisture, within the frame of the box. So if there is a scratch or a damage, in time, the, the, the caustic with the presence of moisture will create the nano coating. So the system is self healing in a way. Any other question? Thank you, Mr. Kesh. You're welcome. Thank you very much for your work in the background. You're welcome. There, were, there was a question from. Uh, 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 Ananus, who, who, is, who mentions how is the housing of the Magrav nano-coated, and I think you just answered that, um, that, that uh, caustic would tend to nano-coat the housing, would it not, of the Magrav itself? No, the housing um, is pre-built, and it just is an assembly line. But it, I mean, wouldn't it be sort of nano coating itself on the inside as it gets used, or is that important? We looked at nano coating the containers, the boxes, but uh, we do not understand the cycle of life, how long would it last? Mm -hmm. So we decided not to do. 
Mm -hmm. we, we, there is because these are all chemicals uh, products, um, what they call it, uh, petroleum products, and some of them have a CH bond. And, and would the cost to affect it? We're, we're losing your microphone there, Mr. Cash. It's, uh, we're getting a lot of uh, wind noise or something there. In... Hello. Yeah, it's, you? it's really uh, rumbly and muffled. This is not muffled. This is somebody else's phone open. Somebody's microphone is open. Uh... Uh, and yeah, Dominique, uh, your microphone's open. Thank you. Oh, not guilty. <laughs> You're right. Should be guilty, but not this time. <laughs> yes. Well, we're still getting some noise there, actually, but uh, it's it's much better. Okay. Um, other questions from people. Um, let me see. We have. Um, uh, Candy uh, says, do you think this means we can use only liquid plasma for the health units? In some cases, yes, but not all the cases. As I said this morning in the teaching, we, we add to the knowledge, is that um, a number of you, we advised uh, a long time ago to use the liquid bath, and some people have started using it. Some people have used it a long time ago with different processes. Now we're getting the health results back on this, where people um, use, as we said, with the GANS of uh, uh, water of the GANS of CO2 for the eye and the skin and the digestion which we launch uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we start the delivery the goods have been manufactured in part we're waiting for the licenses to arrive that we can use it um, you should be able to receive your emails this week or hopefully that you fill in your application form to return everything is in position for that uh, but in that process we use the water of the guns if you use the water of the GANS in a bath, as we said many times before, then you lie in it, we'll see the, you will see the interaction, the same as going into the machine with all the coils. Now you decide what is in the bath, what is in the water, what is the texture which you want in the water, for what purpose. Um, use these uh, GANS waters where, with the right combination uh, for different diseases, skin diseases, cirrhosis, and the, and the cancer. There is no limit. Nobody can stop you helping yourself. There is no law in any country in the world says you cannot do this. The knowledge is free. It's in your hand. Test it and share it. Um, the gas water we use, the gas water we use in the uh, in the environment of the body, we've seen it. It works like a disinfectant. It gets rid of germs on the body. If you have any rashes or fungus on the body, the fungus just literally disappear over time in two, three times usage. If you are hungry, you will put the patch of the CO2 on the stomach to see what energy you absorb. A lot of people do that. This is the way they are feeding themselves. Number of people are mixing the liquid plasma in a way of uh, creating a room where whatever you need emotionally to get the strength, you're coming. Very soon, all the churches will be full of these things because now uh, you, you, you can literally increase the emotion in the soul of the man when it comes to the church. Now is a job of God. If the religious people were very clever, they spray the whole of the churches and the mosques and the temples with the gas of CO2 and what they call it zinc oxide. And when the people come in, they get elevated, and now this is the miracle of God, but it's actually a gas technology. Then you increase the emotion, then you increase the power. If you create a wall of fields on either side, very powerful and very weak, 
in transferring the energy, you create motion and none of you have done it. I've done it so many times and I'll ask myself, when these millions of people understand what this is? I tell you, you're looking for a physical motion. I was trying to push the innovation center to go this way, but somehow they don't see it. I always wait till the time they see it. You create, you create very, very, let's say CH3. You create gold, zinc, or whatever mixture gas here. Put a, let's say CO2 gas liquid with a piece of metal or whatever it can affect, and you see how this will start rotating. As the field of fire is trying to reach, the field forces pressure on this will create the rotation. This is how plants rotation started. None of you has a start playing. The pleasure of the plasma technology starts when you lot start coming out the straight jackets of only this and that, and start playing with it. And I'll try to encourage you, but somehow the fear of not understanding is the problem. We've seen a few adventurous women who try. They are the only things that few people have seen. Otherwise, men will not show because it could be embarrassing, because then there is something wrong with it. We'll see on Thursday, the report, hopefully will be ready by a man who made the guns from the seawater. He's most probably listening to us. I hope he'll be present on Thursday for um, helping his wife with lung cancer or part of the structure of helping his wife with small lung cancer. He will explain to you. And a strange enough, is a Dutch speaking. On the other hand, we hear from the others who are trying to create motion, but they don't understand this the strength in gradient change has not clicked on none of you. And I keep on explaining, I use Marco, one of our knowledge seekers words, gradient, gradient. Use, understand, and then you will understand when the high plasmatic gravitational field wants to interact with the lowest and you create a condition of interaction, it has to give <coughs> release. And then you have the motion and nobody has used it. None of you have used this. And when you see it, oh, immediately it's something to do with something else because that's how you're afraid to be called a fool because you are very clever. They look like a fool, so you prefer yourself to be a fool than the others. You're ashamed to show what you have achieved. A few people do. We've seen beautiful teaching from uh, last week with Paul from Togo. We see next Tuesday teaching from Italy, understanding the work of Togo, understanding the work of what came out from Nigeria, we understand what came out from uh, what we call Ghana, and next week, next Tuesday, one of our knowledge seekers will show you the effect because in Europe, we are used to garlic. He's gone, he's seen the work which Paul has done and studied the whole thing. And now we see he has triggered new knowledge. Next Tuesday, hopefully he will show himself what he's done. <clears throat> and then you understand the the strength of the gravitational field of the plasma of garlic fits perfect with the Northern Hemisphere work. And that's why the French love it, because of the minerals and everything else in it. And an Italian who's a garlic lover has discovered or has gone and studied it. He's a knowledge seeker and he'll show us next week.
as I said, hopefully this Thursday, we see the delivery by man in the love for his wife. He went through, we monitored it for weeks. And now he will tell you what is seen because the need forces us or adventure. One, the garlic is adventure. One, the cans water is the love of the wife. And both are respected because that's what we do. This is how we share knowledge. And the other ones are too. Tomorrow morning, after you see this Thursday morning, all of you, you'll make bath. Everybody has all the children line up. Go in the pool, go in the, in the bath because you have a cancer. Do we open public bath for cancers now? Now that we know it works? Try to be adventurous, try to bring no knowledge. And as I've said, nobody is wrong. None of you is wrong because all you do, you bring another beauty on the, beauty, on the table of the knowledge of the man. Our biggest problem in the coming time is how are we going to catalog, catalog these things, this knowledge you're bringing, every one of you. And then, and then when we catalog it, how are we going to bring it in the plasma technology field that everybody can understand? Uh, Mr. Kesh? Yes. Hello, this is Turbin from uh, Norway. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if I could ask you a question. I, yes. I had a are you still carrying on with your systems? Yes. <laughs> and? I'm building uh, uh, every day now. Have uh, you found yourself a doctor yet? Oh, many, many doctors. So you're working with the doctors? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, explain to us. Uh, psych psychiatrist as well. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's what we want. You, the, the knowledge of the plasma by you as builders of it and the science of the doctors and the others will bring a perfect match. Yeah, so far it's working very well. So tell us what have you done? No, uh, it has uh, little to do with health actually. Uh, okay. well, uh, indirectly, of course, um, the idea uh, was that I was speaking to an uh, engineer uh, two weeks ago and um, he told me that he's, uh, he's into Klima systems. Into uh, what? Klima, uh, clim climatic systems. I don't understand. Can you repeat? Climate. Cl uh, climate, climate system. Okay, yes, carry on. Sorry. Um, I had an idea to install in the cooling system for um, uh, all the climate system, especially for children's schools. Um, ventilation. Uh, in the ventilation system, uh, um, a mixture of uh, uh, copper oxide and zinc oxide to clean the, the filters and the, and the air uh, in schools. Yes, we're listening. And um, in the cooling systems for the uh, uh, motors that are that are very often m misused. Uh, I don't know about the other countries, but in Norway, we systematically have the same problems, uh, not understanding the, the difference between uh, summer and winter, and so the climate. Um, uh, vent ventilation systems are are working uh, three times uh, and, um, working three times as much as they actually need and uh, I spoke to this this uh, engineer's brother and uh, uh, he didn't he didn't he have never heard about GANS before and um, we were talking about uh, installing uh, a GANS system uh, in in the machines so that we can clean the, the filters as much as uh, the, environment. the environment. So I wanted to ask you if, uh, if you think that that would be possible? In what way? Well, uh, uh, 
I guess this is a, a mixture. What I had in mind is a mixture of um, of uh, of guns and transform it to liquid guns, and then from liquid guns to um, uh, vaporizing system. And then through the the uh, climatic uh, ventilation. ventilation systems. Why not? Because it's a big problem uh, in schools and uh, uh, fabrics in Norway. Uh, the pH in the air is very bad. But they filter it, they do all sorts of things with it. Excuse me? They filter the air nowadays. Yes, and uh, the they, um, many have told me already that the filter is uh, very bad. It's it's uh, actually uh, slightly above uh, 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 acceptable uh, pH level. So it's really. <laughs> It's a new area. Uh, Can I give you an idea? This is John here. Can I give you an idea? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, turn your mic up, John, a little bit. Fine. Uh, microphone, good. There we are. Uh, what you can do is put a... a, a a pan with a small thermostat and uh, the liquid gans in the conduits, which uh, take the, the the air, the um, vicious air in before the filters. So you the, you can humidify the filters, and this will clean the filters. This is about the same effect I've had at home. Here I use a facial a humidifier, and I've managed to make my teeth grow. Pardon? I have managed to make my teeth grow. My worn teeth. Just ask. Have you have you understood this, Mr. Kesh? Well, humidifier. Nope. Tell us how you got your teeth grow. Well, my my teeth are pretty worn. And uh, the, uh, the white enamel is growing over the center of the two teeth, which is uh, 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 sort of a brown color. And uh, they've grown over a millimeter already. The enamel? Uh, yes, the white enamel has grown over the nucleus, the, the, the brown nucleus of the teeth. How and have you done it? Well, I, the only difference I find is I've been breathing uh, the GANS vapor. Do you deliver it through a humidifier? Exactly, yes. I've got a facial humidifier the women use for humidifying the, the skin of their face. And uh, I put the, the water GANS there and uh, breathe it through my mouth and through my nose. And I've noticed this uh, two weeks ago. It has made my teeth grow. And uh, I also, three nights ago, I had another effect. Suddenly I got a hole in my tongue and a, uh, uh, a dark uh, thing about the size of a, a grape uh, pepit uh, came out. And apparently it must have been sort of a uh, the start of a cancer or something I had in the tongue and it came out and then the tongue closed itself and that's it. It just came out uh, in a couple of hours. Where can you make a, a what do you call a PowerPoint for this that we can have a look at? Uh, well, I'll try. I've got to get hold of a camera or see uh, what I can do with a, a um, computer com camera. And 
I've never done a point, PowerPoint, but I'll get somebody to help me out with this and uh, send you this. Uh, all my teeth, I've got two of my teeth are broken down to the root. And as far as I can see, they're also growing. But uh, I haven't uh, managed to get the, see this yet. I've got today or tomorrow, I'll be going to the dentist, a friend of mine, and see what he says. <laughs> they have fall on their backs when they see my teeth growing back again. So we can see all the work in Mongo. Yes, I'll, I'll try and, and make a, a PowerPoint for, so you can see this, yes. OK, thank you very much. Anything else? Um, you mentioned uh, ending at about this time, Mr. Cash. I'm not sure of how you feel about going on at this point. And um, the teachings Tuesday 3.30 has been delayed by the request of the people who were supposed to be here by four weeks. So in four weeks' time, we, we start with them and we finish at 3.30. Uh, so they, we can carry on today uh, a little later? Yes, we can. Okay. Normal. No okay. Problem, yeah. Can I experiment with liquid plasma in 24% lead crystal glass, or will the lead be transmitted also? Who's speaking? Could you do you mind introducing yourself? Oh, oh, this is Mark Erb from Alexandria, Virginia, right outside of Washington, D.C. And I have some different size liquid crystal containers that I'm uh, lead crystal containers now that I'm afraid I can't use. Why? Uh, it will, I'm afraid that the lead would uh, field may be transmitted out through it also if I put liquid plasma in those containers. Yeah. Will that, that lead harm a person? Not really, because it's a, it's a filter for matter field plasma. When you use a container, we discussed this before, the containers become a filter for that strength, up to that strength of its own. When you use its gangs of it, then it's an emitter. In a, in a matter state, it is as it is. When you change it to a GANS, which is creates, finds a new way, it's, it's, it's not bounded to anything, it's free and it radiates. Not in a matter state. Wonderful, I won't use lead GANS. No, but the thing is we've got to, we've got to understand the more extent of it and how we can apply it and we can uh, implement it. Yes, I have three levels of containers to experiment with. It will be very interesting. A lot of people are testing different things. I see with the Chinese are delivery, uh, developing or trying to develop the flow plasma condition for uh, Oasis. And we'll see what we'll do. Soon they'll be here. They will show the the, the work. Um, the Cash Foundation teachings with China uh, will go back into normal teachings on Tuesday afternoons in the coming time. Uh, anything else? Do we have anybody who wants to present anything? Uh, this is John again. Uh, the same effect we could have with the chlorine in the PVC in the plastic. Yes. A lot of people don't know this. Do you want to explain that or we add to the knowledge? Apparently in Canada, a lot of people are aware of it, but not most of the rest of the world. Um, do you, a lot of you, it's the summer season in the Northern Hemisphere. You carry water bottles, plastic water bottles in the back of your car, in the car. Uh, Canadian research shows in some ways that water is kept in these bottles and then drank it creates uh, certain effects which are not uh, good for human body. So 
uh, if you carry hot, uh, carry bottles or water, plastic bottles, some of them, as I said, have fluoride in it with a plastic uh, container interact and they produce very much, uh, very much as they say, it's not from us, this is what is published uh, in public literatures. Um, they have the effect of the hormones and they can affect apparently the sperm counts of the men in different ways. This is a, this is a research from Canada and the Canadians, they tell you this, don't drink water when you have a plastic bottle in the car in the summertime. It changes the composition. Yeah, Isn't I can it? imagine, uh, Mr. K. Pardon? Uh, I can imagine you got the chlorine and the fluor, uh, fluorine in the, in the plastic. That's why you've got a big difference in the taste of cola drinks when you drink it out of a glass uh, recipient or a plastic one. There's a big difference in the taste. You can taste the chlorine and the fluorine. Yeah, I think somebody will enlighten us soon. They come up with the research they'll explain to us. But I know Canadians are very, what do you call it, pushy with this in trying to, uh, to be understood. Uh, in Iraq, the United States had this problem with the soldiers, uh, with the water they took from the United States. But then in the desert, uh, the, the heat uh, produced this problem in the, in the, in the um, containers for the water. Can you explain more? Uh, well, it was in the United States, uh, they had uh, big problems with the soldiers that came back from Iraq and uh, they traced it to the water they drank. The, they were taking the water from the United States, but the big problem was the, the plastic containers in the desert. They sort of cooked the plastic and uh, this released uh, fluorine and chlorine from the plastic into the uh, into the water and that was uh, uh, making them sick thank you very much any other questions or anybody who wants to show anything we are on the international side um, <clears throat> we have a, a question in the q a from nick m who asks uh, i use the plasma water in a battery setup uh, nano-coated aluminum at the wall of a glass container filled with CH3 water and in the center a nano-coated copper coil. The results were 0.7 volts constant. So the water seems to have exactly the same effects as the GANS itself. What do you think about that? Is it an easier way to get a, a battery set up for the Magrav um, spaceship formation? In a way, yes. I think if you ask Vernie online, he can tell you more about this. Vernie, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mr. Gish. Would you like to enlighten us with this? So it's using uh, CH3 water in the center with nano-coated copper coil. Okay, this is uh, same as the aluminum with a gas water with a coil. Yeah, I'm using the same a similar setup also. Uh, this gas water, the liquid plasma. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can be used as a supply, as a power supply. We're using. Uh, this setup, uh, a similar setup, liquid plasma, where inside is nano coated copper uh, coil. For the CH3, uh, I would suggest, since it is CH3, use a single coil inside the container of the liquid, and that coil should be uh, clockwise. You and your clockwise and anti-clockwise cause enough headache. Why clockwise or why anti-clockwise? Okay. If we use single coil only, we have to follow this clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, winding. 
CH3 is more on magnetical for it to connect to our material, which is the coil, it has to be in gravitational formation. Then it connects, then you can tap that one to a destination that is more gravitational. So your CH3 can now uh, go to an extended, let's say if your coil is extended by a wire, you can use this to any gravitational uh, destination when you're using CH3 guns water inside the container and a coil in the middle. So if you use double coil, it's a different story because the double coil will, will be your mag grab. The double coil will become a mag grab, especially when you connect both uh, the, the other end. So for this application, CH3 is more magnetical for it to communicate with the coil. You have to have magnetical and gravitational, then you can use the coil, the other end, if you extend the coil outside. So this becomes uh, in a, uh, this becomes an energy source actually. This makes it as a magrab, the liquid part, the CH3 is your more on magnetical in strength, while the coil can go to a gravitational uh, strength. If sure. this is lead guns instead of CH3, meaning more on gravitational, then the coil inside should be counterclockwise. So, so this can go to a magnetical destination or a positive in the battery, something like that. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rene. Um, anything, any other question? There was a question on the live stream. Let me uh, get back to it here. Um, basically, let's see if I can find it again. It was regarding um, uh, what do you call it, heat pumps, and uh, I think it was air conditioners. I can't, can't find the question. I just it's back in the chat. Well, basically, it's it's about heat pumps. You were mentioning about using uh, plugging in a refrigerator into the maggrav units and how that um, how that uh, switching and uh, pulsating circuit helps helps with the maggrav um, conditioning and whatnot. Um, what about units such as uh, heat pumps and uh, perhaps air conditioners and other things that do have compressor units in them. Why not? Try and let us know. Right. We've seen a should. good result with what they call chillers in Middle East. <clears throat> right. Okay. That, that's a different kind of air conditioning, a simpler kind of air conditioning system with the water pump yep. that pumps over a screen. Try it and let us know. Now we open a new door, we see a new thing. Uh, add to the knowledge, bring it on the table, we'll see. It seems like that system would be perfect to pump some uh, GANS water through it as a uh, means of cooling. Mm. Possible. We've got to try. The, the thing is, we open the technologies uh, on the table, try if it works, what it is, if you want, come back and share. Never thought about it, so it's... Uh, Try it and let us know. You have no more question, uh, Mr. Quest. Just a quick uh, observation: w Wouldn't the heating element in the heat pump be considered the resistive load, and would that be ideal as a load on the Magrav's unit? Well, yes, that's part of it. That's why the refrigeration, in so many ways, works as well because the gas inside the system partially works at that as well in cooling and heating. But you look for the matter state. Now, I said we start teaching different way on Tuesday afternoons, but let us expand in the knowledge in a different way 
as we are part of the space technology and part of the spaceship program. As we said, we have to understand the totality and then what we understand in totality in respect to where we are, how we are, who we are, and the environment we live would allow us to think. And then you will see what we call the bigger dimension of existence. Ask yourself a very simple question. You are born in the womb of the mother, in different parts of the world, from different cultures, races, and different backgrounds. We come and we speak the language of what we are spoken to at certain point in our life. Chinese, French, English, whatever. But what is important is from that point to the point of the birth, what language or what feel the strength of the plasma do we all think and work with? Then we translate it to our own understanding. I call it water, call it aqua, whatever name you put to it, according to the language we were taught to understand the entity, we understand that noise means this thing, and this noise means this thing. So, but in fact, in our brain, in the plasmatic field, the strength of the body of the man, the common sense, the common whatever we have is all the same. It's us who changes that into the dictionary of our voice. What is called pain, what is called joy, what is laughter, what is fear, whatever. So we all have the same common denominator feeling, which is whatever is part of the emotion, which is part of our interaction with our environment, and we all have the same. We all feel cold, so cold has common denominator in all of us. But now I throw you something very, very different. Strange enough, the cat and a donkey have the same emotion. They feel pain, they feel cold, they know what is make them happy, they know the pain and everything else. We have in us a common denominator field a strength. But let's extend it. I 
do it this way because then it's easier to do it. Or we do it this way. A man from the Mars, a man from planet Zeus. They all have feeling and the same emotion. They interact. They know what is good, what is bad, what makes them happy, what they need for food. So now you see the common denominator runs along the universe. If our emotion is the source of our soul, is our emotion is the point of the essence of the creation of our soul, where we came from the matter state into the field state and to the emotion and the soul, then one thing we have to consider. Are we, when we join the universal community, part of the same creation? and no different. Black, white, cat, dog, man from the Mars, man from another place in the universe, entity which is concerned, it creates its condition of existence. This is where we have to come out of the prejudice of being human. Or thinking we are better or better or worse than the others, than us. This will bite man heavily in his face. Man will have a lot of problem because he has not managed to sort this in his own village of the earth. Where if this applies to us and applies the same to people we know, we call them whatever, so does apply to the universal community. If you understand this, you will understand why you cannot, up to this moment, fly. Why the work of the spaceship program for you and for humanity has not been fruitful. Don't forget, we talked in the past, in the teachings, how you feel because of the magnetic gravitational field connection of your child across the planet or your dog, you're somewhere else that is in pain or is in the need. Because in interaction, you are connected by the field and you know what is good and what's not good for it and what is good for you and not for them. And then the big question comes, Has man gone the wrong way that the essence of the soul of the creation of the universe have kept them away till this matter of eating energy packs of animals is sorted? Because if you eat them in a space, we are food too for you. I wonder how delicious it is. Goes back to one of the old movies on television. If you remember, the little white girl sitting on a tree asking the girl, you look chocolatey, can I lick you to see 
how you taste. Do you taste chocolate? Would you would like to taste the man from the Mars or the moon or to become part of the food of the man if we do not go the path which we are teaching in understanding transfer of energy and plasma technology? Do we become part of the soul of the universe as we are but kept apart from becoming one because of our energy transfer habits of packages which are not to be? This is the problem. This is one of the main problems that has not been solved with humanity in space. And this is part of the teaching, which is not just making units to fly you, units give you health, units give you water, units to have a free electricity. There is a unit for understanding of the man conduct in respect to the universal community that other entities do not become a food package. Because it can be absorbed easier and then we add a taste to it. Have you had a chicken leg or have you had a frog leg? Oh, have you had the leg of a man from the Mars? Or there's an animal with a call it so and so in such a planet, it's very delicious. This is where the wall of interaction has been set for the mankind. I have talked about this a few times on the surface, but at this moment, it cannot be blocked or cannot be stopped. <clears throat> because as part of the ethos of the creation and joining the universal community, man has to understand his position that he does not find another excuse. I was going to be eaten, so I ate. I was going to be killed, so I killed. So, we have two choices. Now that you have seen the creation and the use of zinc in interacting with the emotion to elevate the emotion of the man from psychological and other positions of the emotion, do we or be obliged to develop a technology where the man has been given, or has to be given, an antidote for eating animals, or eating entities, or eating packages of energy. There are a number of choices. Do we increase or elevate the emotion of the man direct? Or do we bring to the level that the man absorbs energy without it knowing that he'll never feel hungry and at the same time the increase in the level of aggression of the man reduces by not absorbing a large difference energy from one position to another. As I explained many times, we see the Indians and Pakistanis, Indians, vegetarian, calm, they're still aggressive, but calm in behavior and approach. We see people from Pakistan heavily connected to eating meat at a large consumption, high energy packs, and the behavior and the shape and the feature change. Same brothers changed the path of belief and the eating habit, and we've seen how they've changed. Now, it's our job to take man into that level to understand, and it cannot be done till man matures to this point. We started a few trials with Jackie and the others, and we stopped, or we let it go as it was, because you were not mature enough yet to understand what is to come. Maybe a few weeks, few months later, it's time for you to look at you have no choice because in the space of universe, 
you will gain the knowledge to travel, but you will not be allowed to interact with the universal community until the point that you understand this is no go. Because trying to satisfy need for energy packets of the man is the cause of the war and conflict. So, we have two choices. What materials do we need to use in the guns of the energy of the man, not only to satisfy his emotion. We hear doctors, they say, we give the patient guns of zinc and or CO2, and they come up, they change. They change totally, they, they change, they become happy people but it doesn't stop them from being aggression to eat another package of life. Now, the holy grail of plasma technology for you lot who are concerned in man to become peaceful is to find the matter which, or the condition which, the tool which allows man to become man of peace and no aggression and no consumption of the packages of life in the universe. Till this is not sorted, whatever you've done up to now, you'll be traveling in the space on your own. Number of contacts has been made with the human race to resolve this matter, and nations and world leaders have not managed to complete it yet. And everything has stopped again and again. Maybe it's time for us collectively to resolve this position as our world leaders cannot do. Every time communication has broken down is this point. The consumption of another pack of energy for human race has been its biggest problem in space. You made zinc to bring satisfaction of the emotion. Now you as plasma scientists look for what you collectively can agree that it can bring man into the universal community. Or, as I said in the talk, would you like to eat your sister? Would you like to eat your mother? Or would you, if I put in front of you, eat your own child? Because it's again a package of magnetic field. What brings us that resentment that we do not cross a line we have to find within the energy structure of the brain of the man for it to become part of ingrained habit in a space. You find it revolting because it's beyond understanding of doing it. Now you have to find the same solution. What is the strength of that revolt in the brain of the man? which does not do certain thing. We know zinc is the connection, but what is the revolt? That a man can be subjected to it, that he will not cross the line. Do we close the mouth of the man? That there will be no food digestion? Or do we close the level of understanding of jealousy that creates the position that is the cause of the wars? To possess. It has a strength. It's created of the field plasma. It's created and it has is, And some of you have to make your work to find out what this condition is, that the way you come and say we put you in the water, the cancer of the longos, show us a water, 
which man forgets the aggression, which with it, we can make the field plasma of it that allows man to enter universal community. Till this is not sought, all you've done is in vain. Back to the churches, back to the statues, back to the mosque, and worship the false gods which you have done for all the centuries. Because the name of God in the churches and mosques and temples have been used to kill, and that was not the purpose of the religion. So, as we talk about making systems for flight, we need fuels to do this and that. We need the fuel of peace within the structure of the plasma technology which you have been brought up with in past few weeks and months. Till this is not sorted, as parents say, you are grounded and you are really grounded. Human race is tied up to the ground of the earth. Volcanoes, you have to stand it. Earthquakes, you have to shake with it. And when is the thunder and lightning and meteorite, you die with it because you have not learned why you are conditioned to this position. You have conditioned yourself as a race. You have not been put, and as somebody says, it's a very good rare estate. There are more diamonds and golds in the space than this planet can provide. It's a speck of dust in the middle of nothing of the universe. But it has life, it has managed to create a life cycle, and that is precious. So what is your job, and what is expected of the man to complete the cycle of the communication opening of the universe is for you to find the matter which really matters. The matter which makes man peaceful, which makes man within the energy of a cycle of life to be able to understand how to absorb or to reject the energies which does not need. If I close your mouth that you cannot eat, but you learn because of the pressure you want to stay alive, a condition to absorb energy, then you have nothing to give out either because you haven't consumed it. We've seen with the doctors, they teach us how now we understand we can create muscles and tissues and we can use GANs to generate tissues. But if we produce and generate a tissue and create a condition to close the mouth of the man, where can we find a place that the man can absorb the energy for his existence, that allows his emotion to exist, and his soul to be part of the universal community, and for it to understand the languages of all the other creatures without the word spoken of the sound. Then we feel the dog, we feel the cat, we feel our children, we feel the man of a space, and do we need a universal language? Universal language is needed when the man of space have not matured to walk to the next level. Maybe man has to go through that process, but it's a long term because then you get used to that, then you will not elevate to the next level. Why don't we do it from the beginning? It has worked for many, many races in the space. Why not the man? As they say, you can take the horse to the water, but you cannot make it drink. I can teach you, as I've done, and I'll carry on doing,
that you know every ways to make everything, but the only thing you have not resolved until that time is not resolved, you will not be able to connect the side of the emotion that it creates the lift for you to become the man of the space. Is interconnected. Is part of the gravitational field that you have not understood. If you want to understand better, you do not run. If there is no emotion of the fear in behind you, you will not run if you don't run to the one you love. This is the process which we have to ignite in man, which way does he want to run? Out of the fear or out of the love? And then we see the emotion has created the physicality of the motion. Then the answer says, with the human race, there is a part of the equation, part of the total fuel of the universal motion is missing in all the physicalities which you have been trying to evolve and produce, and that's why you cannot, because part of the fuel is not there. You only consider the lift and motion in respect to the Earth's gravitational magnetic field, but what about the soul of the planet? You've done so wrong, where do you want to go till you don't pay your debts due? Or you learn by it that you become part of it. Until man does not find this level of strength with the materials or ganses or plasmas or whatever you like to fuel his spaceship, fuel tanks, Man is grounded. You do not have the right mixture. How can you drive a car when the wrong fuel or part of the fuel was within its tank? This is part which has to be resolved. And we see it to be resolved in the coming months due to disasters which are pending on this planet. And where the man is pushing. This is a false peace, false acceptance, because the human race will kick in. And once the soul of one man reaches, the rest will follow. So, answer one question to yourself. And all you've done up to now has been in veil. If you have not understood for one second, you have everything, but you haven't solved this problem. Because, in fact, the cut, the dog, the man in the space, speaks the same language, has the same emotion, and understands the same. So, we come to one point. It's for you to find the place of development of the emotion and the soul of the man, and it's for you to understand the tools that delivers this, that makes the man independent of his environment creatures, where you do not eat the others, you do not consume the plants, you do not eat the fish, you do not eat the cow, the beef, the man in his space, and the dog of the man in his space, you might call it something else, but it tastes like chicken back at home. Because you don't even remember what the chicken tastes like at home. So, our job, your job, I guide you through it. I can tell you in one second what it needs to be done. Or what is the tool? But you have to find it to the satisfaction that you are prepared to detach yourself from the other side and then create that condition. Ali started it, but he failed. He dropped off. Jackie started it, but again, he's on the path, but doesn't know where to go. But 
collectively, you looked at the side effects, but you never looked at the tools. Until you do not find the way you have the heart, you know this is the place for the blood, and it creates this, and this is the liver, and this is what it needs. Now you have to find the point and the place of the emotion of the man that two things have to go away from it. One is jealousy, and one is eating another. Then the man shall be delivered into the universal community. And as you mature one by one, you will enter. It will not happen to the whole of human race in one go. There is one thing for sure. Remember those called the man of God, the priest and mullahs and whatever, I'm sorry, doors are closed for you. Be it the Pope, be it the Ayatollah, be it the Mullah, be it the Rabbi and the rest. Because you are aware of misguidance and you encourage the misguidance. You will carry on the same in different frog in the areas. Now, it is for you to find here, we know, to bring the emotion into balance. The answer is zinc. Why zinc? Go back into the teaching. Copper, oxygen, nitrogen, and the rest. And you have a giver to bring them into balance with itself. Now you have to find a giver, which with that process, whatever it is, it becomes balance with itself and with the totality of the man. It has a position within the structure of the man. It has a strength within the structure of the man's body. It can be fed to be satisfied. And if you find it, now instead of consuming the energy of another being, you consume what is available in the field of the universe, which belongs to no one and is available to totality. You leave a goat, a sheep, a cow, and a donkey in the same field, and they all eat the same grass, but each one eats a slightly different part of the grass that it suits him, and he gives the others have to have a chance to eat that they survive too. Man has not even matured to the level of the animals yet. So the process, the, one of the stumbling blocks is this. The other stumbling block for man is when all men become equal and there is no kingship. Because then you'll find out as you are equal in emotion, in giving, you find balance and peace because we are here to serve as the servants of each other to be in a condition that is correct. So, your biggest question mark in the coming time is this. Are you going to become man of space one by one or in groups or in masses and take into space? Very much the way we invaded an island or a country, bit by bit, because we found it is nice and we told the others to come, but this is the condition here. Do we need to create 
an environment of forcing and then changing, or do we come to understand the source and the reason, and we don't? Nobody has managed for thousands of years, hundreds of years, force the Indians who are vegetarians to eat meat. So we can ever force man to do what he does not like because he understands and respects. But the strange thing is, why do they only respect the animals, but not the other animals, which are the vertical ones, which are the, what we call vegetation? So, do we decide the Martians are tasty, but the ones from planet Zeus are too bitter, that's why we don't eat them? Or the fear of them, they can harm us, they are stronger than us. Because when you have no fear, you're equal as it is in the universal community, you have no problem. The crown of kingship with man has to stay on the planet of the man and not into space. There shall be no kings and no rulers in the space because they are all equal as we have seen. The kings on this planet get cancer and die the same as does a layman on the street. So he is no higher. If he runs by the fear and the rule, he has already reached a level that he does not deserve to be in the universal community. Until we don't sort this out, my friends, you are grounded. You grounded yourself to the planet Earth for the greed of its physicality. So, I have shown you the way with one. I have shown you the way with the other. Now it's for you to find the key to the totality that opens both. I have shown you how to reach the soul of the man and how to elevate the emotion of the man. And I've shown you how to repair the physical body of the man. And you know, when the physicality is in balance, then the emotion is balanced, the soul finds its balance, which enters in the universal community. So, it's your job. Because if I teach you copycat, you never understand. This is in your turf and in your condition. Those who understand it, enter the kingdom of God. And those who fail, you are shackled to the earthquakes and the volcanic eruptions and the rest of it, which deserve by those who cause so much mayhem and killing. In the coming time, as I was teaching today, we will see the demise of a nation. United States of America in the coming time will not be the shape which has caused so much mayhem as its civilians, as what I call their citizens, have to pay for what they paid done to the others and the cause of the universal balance creates that condition. But how far are we there to support depends on how fast the man of this country will mature. Would they run out of the fear or would they run through the love of <coughs> the creation? Now it's for you to understand and to find the material or the condition that has created this in the brain of the man, in the emotion of the man, that it has to be brought into balance. The way you manage to tame cancer, we hear very soon. The way you have managed to tame the physical materials that you do not need the fuel, now you have to tame the man, the soul of the man. As I said, Matter has a strength, emotion has a strength, and the soul has a strength. And to be able to be part of universal community, you have to reach the totality. Soul was created from the combination of the 
interaction of the fields of the matter of this planet. So it's connected to the elements of this planet too. The doors are shut, locked, total locked. Because if it's not changed here, it will not change in the space. Those kings who rape the children who are supposed to be the heads of their nation, a father destroying his own child, cannot be done in the space. Because they think it's their right. You have to understand, accidents will happen in ending a life, but killing cannot happen by determination of one man. Be it killing of another man, a cat, a dog, and other creatures of the universe. So now you understand, the golden key is on the table. So many times in my teachings, I have explained, I have given you a golden diamond laid Rolls Royce and the ignition key you are waiting for. This is the ignition key. If the man resolves this, you have the key to the universe. Otherwise, it's the empty space of universe you graze onto every night and day you never understood, your forefathers never understood, and your children will never understand. Now, you've been asking for the key, and the key is on the table. It's for you to find the way where the key fits, that it allows you into the car, that it allows you into the spaceship, that allows you to enter universal community. In all my teachings over years, I always put this on the table, but none of you understood. In the writing of Muhammad, bless his name, as I've said many times, they said, the hundred name of the God, 99 is written, and the one shall be understood when you read the Quran from the beginning to the end. But the key was sitting before in the writing of blessed name of Christ and Moses. I shall not kill. God is not a murderer. You had the car, now you have the key. But each key opens and works with one given car. You have to choose. As I said very shortly, my teachings will stop because I have taught, I only guide. But now, you have to sort out this, if you want to be the passengers of the universe, until you do not do, you forget one piece of the teaching which I started today, at the beginning. And that is, in the plasma of the universe, there is a state of the soul of the man, which is the key to the opening of the universe. You have to understand it to be able to get in, and you have to understand it to be able to be part of the passengers of the universe. If you don't understand this, and you cannot find this, I can say to you one thing, your doomsday is in your hand, because 
you have not understood the totality of the structure. This is very important and you will find out why you've been sitting for thousands of years waiting for somebody to come and show you because the key is in your hand. This is part of the key. This is what is missing because your fuel is not complete. Without it, you cannot find position. You have to change the behavior, but understand what creates the behavior. You have to change to understand where is the position for this behavior. What adds to that creates this behavior and what you need to take away that takes this behavior away from the man and the totality. So, now that we come to understanding, man has to resolve all three together. One, destruction of another life. Two, the envy to own what is not his because he wants to have a short. And number three, the kingship. means you're equal to every being on this planet. And if you don't understand it, you're every equal to every entity in the universe. So there shall be no king. And this is where we see all the opposition to the Cash Foundation work. Those who still want to be the king and the kingmakers as they like to be. is in the writing of Baha'u'llah's name. He says, the time will come that no man will take the crown of kingship, which means exactly what I put on the table. When there is no crown of kingship, the man reaches the point of maturity that is equal, not that it's too hard to be a leader. Because when you're equal, you accommodate, you don't lead. So, now you have the key, the golden key for man to enter the universal community and the kingdom of God. So you decide. Find the tools, find the means, find the essence, and then the way you use it to produce all these reactors and all the fancy things you like, and you find because in that point, you find what you call the peace of mind. That's the key, if you have not understood up to now. The peace, which is the balance in accepting the totality to be equal. Then you become blind to color, race, animal, position in the universe. There shall be no exit till you have the right fuel because you are attached to the physicality of this planet through eating it. So how can you let go when you have an anchor tied up to the ground? You have not seen a ship rolling the oceans if nobody has taken the rope at the port, the tie to the port. It is not that the key is missing, it's the tying yourself to it, which is we, the cause of the problem. So now you have the golden key. Let's see how many of you in the coming time manage to drive the car which is in your hand. Because if you don't understand this, if you don't see this, if you don't comprehend what it means, how can you become passengers of the most beautiful part of the universal community, which is peaceful and is unified?
there is no division to be the king, and that's no division to own something, no division to eat something, somebody else's. So, in so many ways, my job as a messenger of the universal messengers is more or less complete. And if need be, we let you destroy yourself on this planet as we let you do it many times. A few men have made into a space and they are part of the universal community because they understood. But now you have no time. You're gonna do it out of fear or you're gonna do it out of the pleasure of being part of something bigger. Would you like to live in a village? You're quite welcome. You would like to join a beautiful universal community of the universe? You are welcome too. Now the choice is yours. You decide because you have the car and you have the key. Car, the craft, the food is the physical part. This is the emotional part. And together, like your physical body and emotion, when they are perfectly working together, you create the soul of the man of the universe. So, as the old say, the choice is yours. It has to be handled one by one, each individual and those who mature they'll find through it the key and the craft to the universal community. Any questions? Yes, Mr. Kesha. I would like to know, we have learned another problem. Yeah, turn your mic down a little bit, John. How about it now? Uh, turn yeah. it down. <laughs> Okay. Are there are there any other uh, are there any other questions? I'm sorry, my live stream wasn't on. Let me say it again. I really want to eat plasma instead of other. Is there a blueprint somewhere for me to build the feeding units? What he, is what he's saying. Yeah, but the thing is, you go back on to eating. <laughs> the word. The word is eat mm -hmm. is the word is sharing. What I don't need, I share with you. With what you need, you share with me. Learn from the writing of the or the deed of the Christ, bless his name. <coughs> this is my body, this is my blood. He shares. This is the essence of the creation. So, do you want to eat? Sorry, we we are still in the wrong ball game. The process, the thinking, the structure has to be on a way that the man can survive without consuming. So now you got the key. See how fast you run. And you have to build this in reality in the fields of your course, because that's the part of the fuel. Till you don't find this fuel, you are grounded because the power to take off is not there, even the engine is running.
a very big question for the man who's been killing for millions of years. A very big question for those who call themselves king and abuse their position. And a bigger problem is those who are jealous or jealousy to possess. Thank you very much for today. We call it a day. Maybe the man matures in time. We'll see you on the teachings of with doctors tomorrow. The agricultural teaching starts next Wednesday, I've been told by Dr. Gota. The, if you are interested to attend the conference in Africa, we will announce in the next week or so, once everything is agreed with the Ghanaian Atomic or the Keshwa Nation Ghana. And otherwise, we'll teach you, we'll see you on uh, Thursday morning public teaching. Thank you very much indeed. That's working. Okay, just so we can end it here. Thank you, everybody. This is the end of the 118th. Sorry, it's the end of the uh, 19th International Knowledge Seekers Workshop for June 14th, 2016. And thank you, everybody, for attending. And we'll have the 118th Knowledge Seekers Workshop coming up uh, on Thursday, June 16th. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, there's some people that may have had some questions. We'll have to refer back to the Thursday workshop. Okay, I'll stop the live stream.